Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney in New York. Teaching is my thing. It's my jam. Sometimes in the midst of a struggle, in the midst of a crisis, we find what we're good at, what we were meant to do. So as you may know, on these daily video uh, shows, I've been discussing elder law. And definitely I'm gonna continue speaking about elder law. But the office phone is quiet. Uh, we now have a nearly shelter in place order. Uh, my office is still operating. Uh, I'm speaking to people by phone, existing clients mostly, some inquiries. Uh, and I have an associate attorney. I don't speak about him too much, but he's uh, really a wonderful guy. He's still with me and uh, he's been with me for eight years. And he actually, uh, one of the carve outs uh, for uh, court work uh, last week and going forward in, into next week is emergency proceedings. And he did go to court uh, this week on Thursday. We did have an emergency and there's certain categories of uh, areas of law that constitute an emergency. For example, um, uh, in the family court, there's uh, Article 10 neglect cases, uh, juvenile delinquency, uh, removal of children from abusive parents, family offense cases where one spouse or one paramour is abusive to another paramour and someone needs to avail themselves of an order of protection. Um, criminal court uh, arraignments. And so there's still court Monday and Tuesday next week. I think Wednesday, uh, they're trying to work, work out where it'll be a virtual option, right? So uh, Skype or FaceTime and no litigants and no attorneys will be going to court on Wednesday. Ex and, and I don't even know what the exceptions are. Um, criminal arraignments are, are now being done um, virtually by Skype or FaceTime, closed captioning. Um, so we're still working on that. Uh, but the one thing that I won't stop uh, is educating and giving information. So um, this week, one of my secretaries was working from home and she had a list of clients, past clients, and uh, she explained to them um, that really at this time they need a power of attorney and a healthcare proxy. And if they could get to my office, I will give them the power of attorney and the healthcare proxy. If they want to uh, give me a call, right? The phones are still being answered. Uh, maybe I could send it to them, um, you know, as an attachment. If they could print it out, I'll work with them, whatever they need to, uh, to get that document signed. Yesterday, the executive order went into effect uh, that we could notarize uh, by video watch yesterday's episode to discuss. I'm still learning that process. I did dictate how it, how it goes, but um, the practical application have to work through because I haven't done notarization by video yet. Um, but if you need, and I think you may need a healthcare proxy, a power of attorney, maybe a HIPAA form, please give me a call. I'll give you the documents, right? I'll instruct you on how to, how to use them. So, uh, if you want to talk to me about uh, anything, please give me a call. At, uh, I give you reach that uh, call Frank Bruno uh, or the website Frank Bruno Law. Thank you very much.